In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I believe to be one of the best offenses in Madden 21 right now. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping you become the best Madden player that you can possibly be through doing daily videos just like this that can share with you offensive and defensive tips and tricks for Madden 21. So if you want to get the most up-to-date tips and tricks in the community, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up-to-date with everything happening right here on the YouTube channel. All right, guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite little offenses in Madden 21, and that is the Trips Tight End. Now, if you don't know already, I actually have a full ebook on the Trips Tight End um, that I have out. It just came out a couple weeks ago, and it is literally just 10 bucks. For $10, you can learn the entire offensive system, but suffice it to say, for right now, um, personally, I think the best trips tight end in the game is the trips tight end out of the New England Patriots offensive playbook. A lot of people would tell you that it's Las Vegas. Some people would tell you this is the Chargers. I really do like the trips tight end in the New England Patriots offensive playbook, specifically for the play that I'm going to be sharing with you today, and that is the play Pat's Flood. This is a very good little concept. It's very underrated. Not a whole lot of people, uh, in my opinion, really uh, understand why this is such a good concept. But again, if you want to get my full trips tight end offensive guide for just ten dollars i'm going to leave a link in the description below for you to be able to get that but let's jump in here and we're going to talk about this play pat's flood first and foremost against man-to-man -man coverage so how do we use this play to be able to be a consistent man beater uh, for our offense so the first thing is i don't want to mess with any of the routes on the left side of the field i actually really do like the way that they kind of flow together um, and, and just the, the way they just space the field. So I'm going to leave all of these routes alone, okay? I'm, I'm not going to touch anything on this left side of the field. But on the right side of the field, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a little route combination that I absolutely love um, out of the trip side. And this is going to allow you to be able to use the whole field, and it's actually really, really quick to set up. All you're going to do is you're going to put your tight end um, on a little flat pass, a little flat route just like that right there. Your X receiver is going to go on a flat route, and then your running back or your R1 receiver is going to go on a smart routed option route. This option route is truly my favorite answer to the man coverage question. As you can see, it's about a 15-yard out route. And what's cool about this is you actually have this on both sides of the field. And so it's going to allow you to be able to stretch the defense horizontally just as much as you would want to stretch them vertically. So you'll see here on the left side, this out route is very consistent. As you can see right there, obviously he's got to catch it. But that route is also a very consistent read against man-to-man -man coverage. So if they're running uh, two man under on you or just kind of standard man coverage, you're going to have a lot of success with this triangle route as well as with your R1 route. Now in Mutt, you're going to even have more success because it's very likely that you're going to be able to have two or three receivers with abilities on the field, whereas in Regs, you could really only have one or two. So, you know, that's, that's just something to kind of be aware of. Now, another thing that you're going to see a lot of times is let's say they want to try to stop the out route. Well, what that means they're going to do is they're going to drop a little purple zone over on that left side of the field. Um, so they might do something like that, and maybe they're trying to, you know, kind of, you know, maybe you're running something like to play Pat's YN, so they're going to have a little post over there. So they've got enough protection to kind of take care of that. Well, the beauty is that this little stock fade route, because it's a stock fade route, it doesn't always get uh, amazing separation, but a lot of the times this stock fade route will beat that man-to-man -man coverage. And I didn't shade underneath on that, and that's why I didn't have success. Again, a lot of people's approach to man coverage is they're going to press coverage, they're going to shade coverage underneath, they're going to get in your face and just kind of play you know, heavy man-to-man -man coverage. The beauty of this little play, this little route concept right here, is oftentimes that square receiver will get open. Again, you still have your back on the right side, and look how many yards I just got. I mean, I just got almost a touchdown just with this little concept. Now, let's talk a little bit about this against zone coverage. So first and foremost, we're going to start um, with kind of a traditional way that people like to play uh, trips tight end, and that's going to be to basically go ahead and run a Mabel concept. So we're going to have underneath uh, curl flat zones at about five. We're going to have, um, you know, the other zones are, are in their little spot here. So you have something like this, basically. But what we're going to do offensively is, again, same route combination. 
And what you're going to notice here is these this little um, low ball to triangle is often going to be a route that you can actually really hit against a Mabel coverage. So I'll show you it one more time here, and uh, we'll show you just kind of a standard Mabel coverage. So this is just heavy, heavy zone coverage, right? But the right side of the field with Jones, because he's running such a deep uh, option route, you see that this out route gets in a really nice little window uh, against the Mabel coverage. Once the out route cuts to the outside, because of the spacing on the field, and just because he's in a very, very tender, um, just little spot on the defense, he's gonna have a lot of success. You're gonna have a lot of success throwing uh, throwing this out route on the left side because the, the zone's gonna keep drifting back. So you can just throw this to the outside sideline and as you can see, it's a very easy and consistent read. Now, let's talk a little bit briefly here about the right side. So again, this is Mabel coverage on both sides. More than likely what they're gonna do if they're smart is they'll have some type of yellow zone over here so I'm going to go ahead and put a yellow zone on the right side. If they don't have a yellow zone on that right side, um, it's going to be even easier to beat. But with the yellow zone, you see he's going to kind of match him from man to man. So as soon as Jones cuts to the outside, that's right about in that little window where you want to throw that. Um, I will show you another style of defense that people will employ against this offense. Um, and that's just like Mike Blitz 3, basically. But basically, you're going to see that the 3 wrecks are going to come from the left now. If the yellow zone is on the left side, as opposed to being on the right side, this running back route is going to be really easy. You're just going to snap, throw it right up the seam there. It's going to be very consistent for you. Now, again, depending on the type of yellow zone that they use, if they use a vert hook, that's a little bit different than a three rec hook. Okay, So a vert hook is going to be a little bit different. It's going to just kind of sit at five yards. It's not going to go back with him. It's not going to match onto him. So what that's gonna look like practically is you can literally just kind of sit and like, it's like shooting fish in the barrel, just throw it you know, right in the pocket and be able to hit this. So as you can see, this play is just a very, very powerful passing concept. It's phenomenal against cover two. Um, if they try to run something like a Tampa two, especially if you're running your three uh, receivers to the wide side of the field, you're gonna have a really good opportunity to be able to hit that little stock fade on the left side. You also have just very, very powerful little out routes that are very difficult to defend. They can't defend the out route and the corner route and the crossing route and the and the end. They can't do it all. So that's what makes this offense so powerful. So if you want to learn how I run my full trips tight end offensive guide, it is available in the description right now for just ten dollars. It'll teach you everything you need to know about how to run an elite, elite tournament level trips tight end offensive scheme. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, just shoot me a text message. My number will be at the top right corner of your screen. It's also in the description. And that being said, if you want to get that ebook, I am going to put that Trips Tight End Offensive Guide link in the description for you to be able to get it. Thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed it and have a great rest of your day.